Oh, wow, friends. Good morning. So inflation is continuing to soar, and top economists and advocates are now expressing great concerns for millions of Social Security beneficiaries. Senior citizens and retirees are being impacted exceptionally hard by this crisis. Several lawmakers have come together now to propose extra financial aid to millions of low-income households. Friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video, especially if you are a Social Security recipient. Also know that I'll be giving away four $75 Walmart gift cards every week. If you would like to enter these giveaways, please make sure that you click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. My friends, the more videos that you comment on, the more likely your chance of winning the Walmart gift card giveaway. I'll be announcing a winner for the Walmart gift card in a video later today, dear friends. So please make sure that you do stay tuned for that video. I'll always be open to any good ideas, whether it's Democrat or Republican, to move the country forward. But I've also made it really clear that if Republicans try to repeal the power we just gave Medicare to reduce prescription drug costs, I will veto it and let it happen. If Republicans try to walk away from the historic commitment we just made to deal with the climate crisis, I will not let that happen. If Republicans try to cut Social Security and Medicare, I will not let that happen. And if they try to cut taxes for the super wealthy again, the biggest corporations like they did in the last administration, I will not let that happen either. Look, now as we look at tax cuts, we should be looking at tax cuts for working people and middle class people. And I'm going to keep the commitment we both made that no one making less than 400 grand a year will ever see a penny in their taxes go up as long as we are in power. And folks, and I love the Republicans talking about big spending Democrats. We're going to keep working to keep the federal deficit low. We cut the deficit in two years by one trillion, seven hundred billion dollars, more than ever in all of American history. Well, I don't want to hear from Republicans calling Democrats big spenders. They're the, we're the ones bringing down the deficit. They're the ones that blew it up over four years. Unfortunately, inflation and rising rents are leaving many older Americans on the brink of ruin. The poverty rate for people 65 and older rose from 8.9% in 2020 to 10.3% in 2021. According to Ramsey Alwyn, the president and CEO of the National Council on Aging, people who rely on traditional retirement income, such as Social Security, are having big trouble affording the basic necessities. And as a result, many older Americans must make hard choices about whether to pay for daily needs, such as food and medication, or rent. Others simply cannot stretch their money and must leave their homes. An upcoming 8.7% cost of living increase in Social Security benefits will somewhat help offset the effects of inflation, which was 8.2% for the 12 months that ended in September. COLA represents the payout increase that recipients get most years to account for inflation. If prices go up for the items Social Security beneficiaries buy, their benefits should climb to match this increase. But advocates believe that won't be enough to stem the tide of seniors who are losing housing because of rising rental prices. The state of Montana is home to one of the oldest populations in the U.S., according to a recent survey of older adults in the state. About 44% struggled with housing during the previous year and only 10% considered housing affordable. Emergency homeless shelters in Montana and across the country are reporting that more seniors have been showing up at their doors over the past year, many of whom could no longer make rent or couldn't find a new place to live after their homes were sold out from under them. Many older Americans are on fixed incomes, which makes price hikes hit even harder. According to the Social Security Administration, 9 out of 10 people aged 65 and older received a Social Security benefit. For retired workers, this equates to around $1,669 a month. While the percentage of older Americans in poverty has increased, so too has a number who have headed back to work. Nearly 20% of people older than 65 years old 
were employed in October 2022. This is up from the 18% in that age group who were employed in 2021. So friends, please let me know if your rent has gone up in the past year or two. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Friends, the key word for this video is Alabama River. If you would like to enter today's Walmart gift card giveaway, please make sure that you click in like several of my videos and then comment below this keyword, which is Alabama River and any additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And do make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Energy, food, and shelter expenses have been primarily responsible for driving the inflation rate higher. According to data released by the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics for September 2022, the year-over-year -year change in energy prices, which includes all types of fuel, utility service, and electricity, was close to 20%. Meanwhile, food and shelter costs respectively rose by 11.2% and 6.6%. However, beneficiaries should enjoy this sizable payout bump while it lasts because there's a very real possibility that 2024 could result in a 0% cost of living adjustment for the fourth time in a 15-year stretch. With the prevailing inflation rate soaring, the Federal Reserve has had little choice but to aggressively increase interest rates to slow borrowing and to shift wage power away from workers and back to businesses. The nation's central bank is pumping the brakes on the U.S. economy to keep inflation from causing further damage. It is a necessary step, but one that could prove painful to Social Security beneficiaries come 2024. Federal Reserve officials welcomed the latest data that showed that inflation rose less than expected last month. They also cautioned against getting too excited by the data, saying that prices are still far too high. So friends, what do you think that the Federal Reserve should do to reduce inflation? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Well, my marvelous and dearest great friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you so much for joining me here every day when I post a new video. And I truly hope that you found this information helpful. Friends, I greatly appreciate all of you who are staying tuned to watch my videos. I will be announcing a winner for the $75 Walmart gift card giveaway in a video later today. So please make sure you do stay tuned for that video. Thank you, friends, and have a wonderful and blessed weekend.